<laughs> from the mouths of babes. That's 18 month old Kinsley and her bedtime routine would not be complete without the call of the wild. Ours wouldn't either. I got to teach my baby those calls. There's nothing like a little primal scream therapy to ease into the evening, Jason. Yes, it's the nightly howl and the creators of Colorado's now preferred form of night nightly expression are bringing people together. <laughs> You could say that Chelsea and Bryce do, 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 do. have some personality. Oh, yeah. yeah. True story. They also had an idea. The feeling of isolation that people are experiencing. I mean, that's kind of what motivated us to start the concept. So why not bring people together with a simple sound? It's older than culture howling, right? So, like, it doesn't connect with a specific religion. It doesn't connect with a specific group of people in any way. From Chelsea's experience volunteering in South America with howler monkeys to the need to just express themselves came this. Ah! It was really exciting to be like, wow, we could really make this a thing and people are really making this a thing. <laughs> can't really take too much credit for it. We just made the Facebook group. The Go Outside and Howl at 8 p.m. Facebook group now has over a half million members from dozens of countries. So we never said anything about what it should represent, but people kind of decide for themselves what it represents, which is cool. This night's version, the new moon, was done in costume. It's Halloween. Oh! It makes me feel supported and touched and um, also relieved, honestly. And those howls are being heard by those on the front lines of this pandemic. I love that members of the community are doing that together, just kind of showing that we're in this together. Amy Klass works in the COVID unit at Swedish Medical Center. She listens to and joins the howl every night. I think a lot of people are eager to get back to their normal lives, and, and that's just kind of a, a symbol that they're still remembering that we're here caring for these patients and, and doing the work that we do. A fight that will continue with a soundtrack that plays every night. <laughs> because they're the ones putting in these long hours and risking their lives and really doing the hard work for it. I think it's the least we can do. Ah! Happy to tell that I gotta that tell story. you, Happy I could to hear howl. this tonight so loud in my neighbor neighborhood here in Southeast Denver. What a great story, Jason. And I mean, I, we have to hear, you know, Stacy Donaldson's best how for the forecast. <laughs> Stacy. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 I heard it loud and clear tonight too. And I actually looked at my watch and I was like, oh, it's eight o'clock. We have to howl.